Have you ever had your macaron shells crack or the feet spread out? Well, now I'm coming out with some recipes to use up those shells so they don't get wasted. Today we'll use the shells to make a pie crust. And for the pie filling, we're making a no-bake chocolate cheesecake. But you can use this recipe for any pie you want, or even for cheesecake. If you liked today's video, give it a like and subscribe to my channel, I post new videos every week. Let's start by making the macaron flour. Place any shells of macarons that you don't want to use in a food processor and process until they're finely ground. Now you have your macaron flour. It should be super fine, just like this. Place the macaron flour in a bowl. Add melted butter and stir to combine. The mixture should be clumping up together when you press it between your fingers. Depending on the texture of your macarons, you may need a little bit more butter. If the macarons are super dry, you may need to add like half a tablespoon more or so. For today's recipe, I'm making small tartlets. You could also make it into a large tart. I placed two strips of parchment paper crosswise in the bottom of the pan before pressing the crust mixture on the bottom and up the sides of the pans. So this way I could easily remove the tartlets from the pan by lifting the strips later. Make sure that the crust isn't too thin or is going to break after you bake it. Bake the crusts for about 10 minutes in the preheated oven. And then let the crusts cool down completely. Now we're going to make the chocolate cheesecake filling. Melt the chopped chocolate or chocolate chips in the microwave. Stir until the chocolate has completely melted. Then let the chocolate cool down for about 15 minutes. Beat the cream cheese for 90 seconds at medium high speed with a mixer until creamy and fluffy. Add sweetened condensed milk and mix to combine. Then we're going to add lemon juice and vanilla extract. Finally, we're going to add our melted and cooled down chocolate. Make sure that the chocolate isn't warm. Mix until the ingredients are incorporated together. Scrape the bowl down and cream for another 30 seconds to make sure that the mixture is smooth and the ingredients are combined. Once the filling is ready, divide it between the baked pie crusts. and use a spatula to spread it evenly. Now we're going to place our tarts in the fridge for at least six hours or overnight. While the tarts were resting in the fridge, I made this mini chocolate macarons to decorate the tarts with.
To fill the macarons, I just piped a little bit of the chocolate cheesecake mixture in the bottom shells and then topped with another mini shell. After the pies have rested in the fridge, you can decorate them. I decorated the pies with red currants, the mini chocolate macarons and colorful crisp pearls. I hope you enjoyed today's video and stay tuned for more ideas on what to do with your cracked shells. For the full recipe, go to piesandtacos.com. I'm going to put a link down below in the description box. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!